place you down so I can tell you what the goals are for the next couple of days. Then we can just get into it. Okay, hello. I've been doing so many like instructional videos or informative videos. We haven't had like a casual hangout for some time. So for anyone who's new here, I've got a whole playlist of studio vlogs and I kind of feel like we just haven't hung out in a while. So that's what we're gonna do today. More of a behind the scenes video of a typical week. My goal is to finish this painting here. It's the Emperor in the tarot deck that I'm working on. Also, if you're new here, I'm working on a tarot card deck and I also have a tarot playlist if you wanna catch up with the project. But basically I'm making my way through, making my way downtown. I feel like my brain is dying right now. Making my way through the tarot cards uh, and I'm four cards away from finishing the mages. My goal is to do two a month, two paintings a month, and then hopefully by August, the mages will be done. That's what we're gonna do today. I know I haven't shown you the beginning parts of this because I didn't really think I was going to vlog it or record it in any way because my male cards uh, don't really do very well. And whenever I paint men in general, they don't do very well. So I kind of wanted to just like bang it out secretly. But then when I was painting it, I was coming around to it. I wanted to vlog and hang out with you guys. So I'll be doing that later on today. Uh, it's currently Monday. I'm sure that's been on screen somewhere already. And then I also need to pack a bunch of prints because I released a bunch of new prints on my online store. My most popular print has been Strength. Uh, I just think Naked Ladies, Big Cats. It's a winning combo. It's a two subject matters I've been wanting to paint for literally years. So uh, I don't know, hopefully later on I can do a wider variety or maybe a little mini series of Naked Ladies and Big Cats. Uh, I just think it's like a classic trope in art and a classic like sci-fi fantasy trope. And I don't want to overanalyze why it's popular. I think it sucks the magic out of it. It's just popular. <laughs> so I've got to send out a bunch of prints, um, do some design work, which has been super heavy this month. Um, and that's why I'm also a little bit behind for the tarot card project. So that's my morning and that's the goal. So let's get into it. I think it's absolutely hilarious having my AirPods in, my glasses on, and a face mask. I'm like completely shut off to the world. Honestly, I kind of enjoy it. On popular opinion, I kind of absolutely enjoy being completely guarded and having no one disturb me when I just need to get a couple of things. So I got my mailers, gonna send this out, do the design work, like I said, and finally paint. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've spent this morning wrapping up design work, uh, hopefully done for the week. There's so much boring admin stuff. So like invoices, um, looking like crazy. Today my goal is to finish the rocks and the goat, and then hopefully also try and get a really good uh, foundation for all of the clothes as well. I'm really, really hoping I can just get this done in the next two days. It's very ambitious. If I get this done in the next two days, then I'll be back on schedule. So I need to put a hat on. Um, 
I'm so glad I put this tinsel up, it makes such a big difference in the space. That's what I wanted to talk about. For some reason, I'm having a really good financial July. You guys have been watching for a couple of years on this channel, uh, usually around this time, especially July, it's always the worst financially for me because America's in summer and they're mostly spending summer holiday money locally and not buying things online. And um, it's also winter in Australia. So people kind of buckle down and they just want to like stay at home. I don't know, I don't have that many Australian customers so I don't have enough data to give you there. But because of the pandemic, uh, I just think a lot of people are at home and just uh, spending a lot more time online. So, which has been good for me. I don't know. It's been a really good uh, winter season. Winter is normally just terrible. If you look at all finance, <laughs> this is so boring for anybody who just wants to watch for art inspiration, but for everybody who is watching because they want to be a business owner, freelance art business owner at some point in their life. Uh, if you look at all business stats and sales, blah, blah, blah. It always goes down around mid year with the pandemic, I think all past years are out the window and we're kind of just starting fresh with like all new data it's a whole new world so i don't know what's happening in july but um everybody just wants to pay me great um <laughs> which is awesome because i'm mentioning this because i'm making a fairly big purchase uh, business purchase uh, once the major arcana is done. I'll be transitioning over to digital work, possibly full-time. I'm not sure. For the minor arcana, I'll have to transition to digital just to speed up the process and also just have everything in the one place so I can draw on the computer and then also compile everything on the computer and it's just eliminating a bunch of steps and hopefully speeding up the process and then hopefully this time next year, uh, Kickstarter will be up and the tarot deck will be finally in your hands. So, um... That's a big update on work and the project. And I don't know for anybody who has been a little invested in what's been happening in art life and knowing uh, some more information for your own art business. Now you know, let's get to painting. It's the next day and today I need to finish this piece. Now yesterday I did the goat and the crystals which I'm fairly happy with. There's a lot of red and a lot of warm tones but once I put in the hands and then the golden elements hopefully that counterbalances a couple of things. It's a very stiff piece. Uh, just because that's what the Emperor kind of, uh, well, that was the interpretation that I took from it. The Emperor uh, aligns with Aries, so he's a very stubborn card that will only get out of his seat uh, if need be. That's why I wanted him to look like he was really lived in and he's like really static and he's just not moving out of his space. It was very hard to get on board with this card because it is very static, but I'm hoping that all the angles of the crystals kind of moves it a little bit more and breaks it up a bit. I'm gonna aim to get this one finished and uh, take you along with me. Before we do that though, I have sold two tarot cards. So I haven't really been actively wanting to sell the cards, not because I'm attached to them or anything, but because I have been wanting to hold on to a couple of them for the, for when the Kickstarter launches and then we can offer them as a reward. Although I'm selling these two because somebody reached out to me and I was like, yeah, I'll sell them. Oh, it's right here, duh. <sighs> selling these two, so Strength and the Chariot. I think they go really well together. They kind of, uh, their overall silhouette and shape kind of match one another. So they kind of, they work well as a pair. To the person who bought these, they're, they're very lucky. I think Strength is hands down the most popular card that I've done since I know I mentioned that earlier before, but yeah, they're gonna look awesome together on a wall. Yeah, that's it, let's go, let's go paint. Yeah.
is it from me, you guys. I just want to pop in and say thank you for watching and you're all amazing for supporting this channel and my art. Uh, I love you a lot. <laughs> And uh, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to my online store at zekeslunchbox.com. And also, if you want to see me in between videos, head over to my Instagram at zekeslunchbox. I will catch you guys this time next week. See you then. Bye.